Hello and welcome to the Forest Parlor. I'm Jennifer and today I am going to talk about the celebration of springtime, also known as the Vernal Equinox or Astara. Now this is the day when there is an equal balance of sunlight and darkness and it's a time for assessing goals and blessing them. It's a time of rebirth, growth, and transformation and of course balance and fertility and I absolutely love spring as I've said before the winter is just a difficult time I want to be able to run outside and enjoy the warmth and the sunlight and the flowers and the animals and all that warm goodness that the season has to offer one colorful way to celebrate the season is to decorate your altar or a sacred space with spring colors and flowers Colorful ribbons and eggs are a traditional symbol of the holiday. If you want to decorate with ribbon, choose blue for healing and peace, purple for intuition, wisdom, and magic, yellow for joy, creativity, inspiration, and success, and pink ribbons for friendship, love, romance, self-love, and harmony. And as far as flowers... Daffodils represent fertility, love, and luck. And tulips are great for divination, protection, and prosperity. Another tradition is to bless seeds that you plan on planting this year. And you can choose seeds that correspond with your goals. Such as marigolds, which represent prosperity and success. Basil and coriander for love. And bittersweet for protection. You can place the seeds in a plastic egg or a decorated basket and, you know, set a nice intention blessing them for growth for the year and kind of tying them to your goals and promise to nurture them as they grow just like you will your goals and then you plant them when the weather permits. Another thing I love to do in association with the spring equinox is to make sure to charge full moon water. Now charging water in the full moon is kind of a monthly tradition, but the full moon associated with the spring equinox is extra enchanting. You can use this water to hydrate those seeds that you've been planting for that extra magical boost. You can also add this moon water to a bath or you can sprinkle it on your hands every day so that it energizes you to remember your goals and to act on them. One last thing that I really want to share with you because I love this tradition is on the spring equinox, take a glass bowl. It could be stoneware or crockery too, but place this bowl outside. And if it happens to rain on the spring equinox, great. But if it takes a couple days, collect that rainwater associated with spring. And then keep that water for the following uses. There's so many of them and they're all great. You can add this water to your bath for a year of luck and joy. You can wash your face with it for a magical, youthful glow. Wash your hair with it to attract and keep romance. You can also sprinkle this water on your altar, tools, or around your home as a spring blessing. So there you go. Happy spring, everyone. I hope I gave you some simple, fun ideas to celebrate this wonderful, magical time of year. I hope you have an amazing season. Set those goals. Challenge yourself for growth. If you have traditions of your own, I would love to hear them. So please add a comment to this video. Until next time, take care and thank you for visiting me in the forest parlor. Happy spring! <laughs>